wrote the show and actually had different actors that were students at the studio doing funny parts. Sure. That I, I always knew she would be something else. She had that personality, that, that, that growly voice that would just call your attention. And she was so much fun, always smiling, had a heart of gold. And I think that's one of the things that I love about her to this day. She's never changed from that loving, innocent child. Which is refreshing to hear. So refreshing in Hollywood yeah. these and days. For sure. And did she do all sorts of different types of dance? Or did she she did. She was, we did pom-pom, jazz, hip-hop, parade marching. Um, she had an opportunity to actually perform on stage at Euro Disney in Paris. Wow. And um, I thought we had to fix it. Oh, mm. not to say, no, we'll, we'll take some additional <laughs> shots of it, so don't worry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you can still reference it and we'll okay. get pictures of it. Okay. Um, we did the festival parade uh, here locally, and um, actually, Emma's first performance ever was in Disneyland. I took a huge group of girls, and we performed on stage at the Carnation stage. Yeah. And Emma was so nervous on the bus. I kept telling her, you'll be just fine. It's just a really quick little show, a half an hour. It'll be so much fun. And she said, I don't, I don't feel good. I'm gonna be sick and I said you're gonna be fine and she was very shy and I said just do the best you can just get out there and have some fun well within 30 seconds she wasn't kidding she was sick to her stomach and um, we actually had to change her clothes um, to get her ready for her performance but that that was her first official performance ever and she was very very shy of course over the next four years she performed 25 times during the course of the year. Halftime shows at the Phoenix Suns and the Fiesta Bowl Parade and senior care centers where she could just razzle-dazzle anyone that she came in contact with. But such a such a star, even at an early age. And, and I had the opportunity to also see her act, dance, and sing at the Herberger Theater when she right. was Annie. And um, of course, she has a beautiful voice. I think a lot of people, when they see the movie, La La Land will be surprised that um, not only can she dance and act, but she has a beautiful voice right. and, and always did. Yeah. So what was the, I guess, the transition that you saw happening in terms of her becoming shy to, I'm out there, I'm confident, I'm the Emma that we know and see today? She liked to make people laugh. She really is very funny. And I can recall this going from such a shy little girl to realizing that when she just smiled and had fun and just was herself, people really warmed up to that. I can remember uh, performing at the senior care center when she had her hair up in a, in a ponytail with a hair piece on it. And as she was dancing, it flipped out of her hair onto the floor. And of course, it looked like a muskrat or something on the floor. And everybody was watching that hair piece and, and not paying attention to the dancers. So she got up ran across the floor, grabbed it, and shook it in the air as she exited off the stage. And uh, I I'll never forget that, that was so funny. Incorporating the air, making it fun. Mm -hmm. Making it light and making it, I mean, it wasn't that, that it was a big mistake. Big deal, oh sure. But she just turned a, kind of a, a weird negative situation uh -huh. into, isn't this funny? And right. um, obviously it made an impact on me. I'm here all these years later, I'm telling the story. So she was there ages seven until 11? 11, 11. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and is that, it sounds like maybe the point she started to get a little bit more involved with the theater. She was getting to the point where it was the, the conflict between how mm -hmm. much time she had to spend preparing for her right. shows really made it to where she couldn't be part of a performing team. So, okay. but um, obviously when she mentioned on the Ellen show where she grew up and, and where she got her start dancing and she mentioned Arizona Angels, I I was so overwhelmed. I saw the video, somebody called me and said, you've got to turn on the show. And, and for her to mention that she grew up with Arizona Angels, it just melted my heart, had tears in my eyes. And I'm, of course, I'm, I'm proud and very grateful for all the young dancers that I've worked with over the course of the years. But I, when someone on national television who's got such a great reputation and is such a amazing star remembers where they started, I think that's quite amazing. For sure. 
So tell me about watching last night. 